Pliny the Younger, Epistoli, Episode 1. Gaius Plinius Septicio Claro Suo Salutem. Frequentur hortatus es, ut epistolas, si quas Paulo cur gratius scripsissem, colligardrem publicardremque, quale legi non servato temporis ordine, neque enim historiam componebam, sed ut quaeque enemanus venerat. Pliny begins with his name, Gaius Plinius. This letter C is an archaic form of the letter G, borrowed actually from Etruscan, and it stands for Gaius. It's a very common name. It is about the equivalent of the English name John. Gaius Plinius, or Pliny, Septicio Claro Suo, and Septicio Claro Suo is masculine, singular, and dative. He's the addressee, the person to whom the letter is written, so his name goes in the dative case. So Gaius Pliny to Septicius Claro, meaning the distinguished, the famous, and Suo means his friend, that is referring to Pliny. So Gaius Plinius to his own distinguished friend Septicius S. Period. This is an abbreviation for Salutem, which means greetings, health, hello. So Pliny sends good health, he says hello, to his famous friend Septicius. Now the body of the letter begins with an adverb, frequenter. Quite often, frequently, hortatus s, you have urged. This is the deponent verb, hortor, its first conjugation, hortor, hortari. You have quite often urged that, ut, this is going to take now an object clause, an object clause which has subjunctives, colligarem and publicarem, an object clause with these subjunctives, that the letters, si quas palo curratius scripsissem, notice the subordination within the ut, if any of them, quas, now quas is feminine plural because its antecedent is epistolos, and it's accusative because it is the object of scripsissem, just like epistolos coincidentally, that is its antecedent, is the object of colligarem and publicarem, that the letters, if any of them I had written, scripsissem, a little more carefully, paulo curratius. Scripsissem is a pluperfect subjunctive in the first person singular and indicative. Its object, as I've said, is quas, and then we have this adverb, curatius. Curatius is, in fact, a comparative adverb. If I had written any, quas, more carefully, curatius. And then we have Paulo, which is a neuter, singular, and ablative. It is called an ablative of degree of difference. If I had written any of them more carefully, how much more carefully, curatius? A little more carefully. More careful by a little, Paulo. So, if any of them I had written a little more carefully, you urged me, frequenter hortatus s, that ut, I should gather them together, colligarem, and I should publish them, publicarem, put them forward to the public. That is, the letters, which is the object of colligarem and publicarem. These two subjunctives are imperfect subjunctives, and they are active, and they are first-person singular. Now, why imperfect subjunctive here? Because the main verb, hortatus s, is what's known as a secondary sequence. It is itself a past tense, and so it must be followed by an imperfect or a pluperfect subjunctive. In this instance, an imperfect, because it refers to action that hasn't occurred yet. We will reserve this next sentence for the next episode, but note that Pliny was born approximately 61 AD and died in 113.